Today we're going to be installing brake pads and rotors on the front of a 2010 Dodge Charger. It's pretty straightforward, but at the end I'm going to show you a little special treatment that you can do. Uh, it doesn't take very long and it makes the car look a lot better from the outside appearance. So here we go. You can kind of see, um, you know, I haven't driven the car that much, but it looks like the rotors are grooved a bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and see what size these bolts are to take the caliper off of the caliper bracket. So it looks like it's a 13 millimeter. Right now I'm just breaking those loose. Well, that's good. The sides aren't seized up. All right, and we'll go ahead and uh, get the, I'm gonna get something to hang the caliper with. So we've got the caliper hanging. Uh, there's no tension on the brake hose. I'll bring in here so you can see. There's everything's good there. So now we're going to get the uh, brake pads out of the caliper bracket. We'll get the caliper bracket off of the spindle. All right, so we've got two caliper bolts, caliper bracket bolts. Um, you can see here I've got my impact socket on one of them, and then the other one is right here. So uh, they are 18 millimeter. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those bolts now. We'll get this out of the way, get the rotor off. And I'll grab my breaker bar just to make sure I don't have any problems getting them off there. There's the caliper bracket, the old rotor. We're going to go ahead and run the piston in. So we're going to go ahead and take the cap off of the master cylinder. So we're just going to take that off and that will allow the fluid to go back easily. So we're going to use this, this brake caliper tool set and uh, I'll have a link in the description for this. So you just assemble it like this and then we'll run this out. You'll kind of see how this works. I'll 
if you can see the piston very well, but you'll see it push in. Okay, it's all the way in. So now I'm going to get the new rotor. So what I do a lot of times is I'll put them on backwards uh, so I can spray them. Get all the oil off that they're shipped with. And once you get this side, you can turn them around to the right side. Go ahead and spray this side. Okay, let that dry. While that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and turn our attention to these caliper slides. Uh, these felt fine, uh, maybe a little bit dry, so I'm gonna put some more grease on them. Install that one. Okay, got that one. And it doesn't hurt to just check the uh, the grease just to make sure it's not dried up um, or non-existent. So, I mean, we probably would have been fine with not putting any more grease on these. I just want to be on the safe side. Okay, we're going to go ahead and load up these calipers. We've got new brake hardware. Uh, what I want to do is put some of this NICs um, on under where these go. So you can see these grooves right here. So I'm going to put some in here just to try to keep from uh, rust forming and causing us problems when we change these pads again. Hopefully I won't have this car when it's time to change the pads again, but uh, you know, for the next person. pads in. Alright, so here's our loaded caliper bracket. We'll get it in place.
let me get the text, uh, torque specs on these. We'll get those torqued down, then we'll get the caliper on, and we'll be done with this job. Here we are. We've got uh, torque wrench set at 70 foot pounds for the caliper bolt, caliper bracket bolts. And when we get the caliper on, those are 44 foot pounds. All right, you watch this. I'm gonna go in and uh, pump the brakes a little bit and hopefully this will tighten up. All right, it felt good on the inside. Uh, got pressure back on the pedal. We'll put it back together and we're done with this job. I decided to, before I put this wheel back on, to go ahead and paint this caliper. Um, I've got some leftover paint from a previous video. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for it if you're interested in watching it. Um, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to do this real quick.
Well, hopefully we can agree that this looks better than it did. Um, should keep it from rusting. I told you I wasn't going to get this perfect. It's not perfect by any means, but I'm happy with it. All right, just want to bring you in here. I got the other side completed, and um, you know you can see that I haven't done the entire caliper. Um, really, I just want it to look good when you see it from the side. If this was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you have any feedback, you can put them there as well. Um, any tools that I use that were helpful, I'll put those in the uh, description as well. Links to those. Check out the playlist on this car if, you, if you've got one and you need to do some maintenance to it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next video.